KC0WCG. This is KC0WCG, and uh, I'll be your moderator for the uh, third hour of the Pico Net today, Net Control. And is there any form of traffic out there of any kind, announcements, bulletins? How about any mobile or relay a mobile? How about internet remote stations? Well, how about those that want to get in and out? M zero C I C. K B zero R O B and then I'll be listening and then I'll come back and so on. Okay, Harold. Uh, go ahead, Bill. Good afternoon to you and the group. Just got back home. I had to run into Park Rapids and pick up my truck. They did some uh, recall services on it today, so they had it uh, all day long. And I got it back home. Come in, sit down. We're going to listen along in the background also. But, uh, and good afternoon to Harold. Temperature is 43 degrees and zero CIC. Looks like we got about 44 here and uh, partly sunny, sunny I guess, and not a bad day. I've been busy here inside the house. I haven't really stepped out but to get the mail this morning. Well, after the uh, net here, I'll have to step outside again. All right, right along with us, Bill. And uh, how about you, uh, Harold? Now, howdy, John and Bill, KB0ROB here with cloudy day today, mostly. There was a little sun quite early, but it's been cloudy all day. The sun, sun uh, tucked itself away, but the uh, melt continues. I think the temperature got up into around 38 or 39, um, but that's okay to have a, a slow melt for us anyway. And uh, we'll see how she goes. I saw no forecast for any precipitation through the weekend. That could change, of course. But but as as of now, it's just sit back and watch her melt. Thanks, John. See you later. KP Zero ROB. Yeah, okay, Harold. Thank you for stopping in here. KC Zero WCG. John in Wadena, Minnesota. Net control. It's. Uh, particular hour, the third hour, and uh, we're looking for a permanent net control for this hour. I can be here probably until uh, the weather gets nicer, and then I'll be traveling, and then I won't be available. Anyway, the Pico Net meets uh, Monday through Saturday, 9 through 11, Monday through Friday, 4 to 5, a different net control each hour. And with that, let's look for some general check-ins. Whiskey Alpha Zero, Whiskey Hotel Echo. NI Zero Kilowatt. KC Zero QED. Okay, I missed one. I wasn't quite ready enough, but I did get uh, Q and Y. Uh, N-I-0-K, uh, Q-E-D, and there was one ending in E. Who was that? Whiskey Alpha Zero, Whiskey Hotel Echo, Gary in Moorhead. Oh, okay. Was there anyone else I missed? Q and Y, go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon, John, and all the way around to the other friends on uh, Pikonet here. In Zero Q and Y, Tom and Chaska, enjoying the sunshine and the mellow snow mountain like crazy here. So there you go. Winter's over, summer's coming. In Zero Q and Y, have a good one there, John. Well, let's hope it's not a one day of summer. I like to see a nice, long, warm summer. Hi, hi. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. W H E, go ahead. 
Uh, good afternoon, John. Good to hear you on. <clears throat> I hope you uh, you find a replacement for uh, uh, for you there as uh, as the need develops. Uh, I uh, I need to hang on to my morning slot because mornings work pretty good for me. Uh, afternoons are iffy, but uh, I was sad to hear Jim re retired from the Piconet. He's been such a fixture for. Uh, so many years, uh, it will be uh, uh, sad to miss him. I hope he still makes it to the get-together this summer. It's 37 degrees right now, sunny skies in Moorhead. Uh, moderate melting going on, uh, nothing really uh, critical. My sump has been running for the last uh, four or five days. Uh, so it's a very nice gradual uh, melt. We definitely haven't... Uh, tip the edge yet as far as a rapid uh, a melting. Seven threes, uh, you take care. John KC0WCG, WA0WHE Moorhead. All right. Well, the three to four o'clock hour, which I was doing during the wintertime, worked out pretty good for me for the most part because in the summertime, uh, if I would have off and I can volunteer to help out here and there, but when I'm gone, I'm gone. <laughs> it's hard to find replacements sometimes. And we do have a young uh, ham radio operator just got her general license that uh, maybe she'll consider uh, taking the hour here. For right now, I can do this one and uh, probably the 27th, but once we get into April, things start to become questionable. If I get that motorhome out, I'm gone. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's carry on here. NI0K. Uh, good afternoon, John, and everybody on the net. This is John, NI0K, from rural Debs, Minnesota, 20 miles northwest of Bemidji on the eastern shore of Clearwater Lake. It's sunny, 44 degrees, and I'll give you a, a second uh, call for uh, the count. That's Whiskey Zero, Bravo, Juliet, India, the Paul Bunyan Amateur Radio Club. Over. All right, uh, we got both of them down there, thank you. And I got the N0WN club in also. So uh, uh, the little bit of help here and there, it all adds up. But, of course, it's good just to talk to people. QED, go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon, John, and uh, thanks for doing the net. Uh, this is Terry over by Dawson, and I'll give you uh, another club, too, uh, K0LQP. Lima, Quebec, Papa, the, the West Central Minnesota Radio Club here. And uh, she's about 39 degrees, it's as warm as it got, I think. It's been pretty much sunny all day, but we still got a lot of snow around, a lot of snow to melt. And uh, we had a, had a little breeze going, so some of it's melting, but I think it's keeping the temperature down, too. Anyway, have a good one, John. KC0QED. Yeah, right here in town, there's plenty of snow, especially where it's stacked up high. On the level where the sun isn't beating on it, it's probably a foot to foot and a half deep yet. It's a very slow melt right now. It's evaporating, it, it, or going straight into the ground for the most part. Uh, the water run off the roof, uh, where it run off, disappeared into the ground. So that was kind of a surprise. Yeah, I noticed that too out here. We uh, earlier we had some water building up, but now it uh, it must have sunk in. I think, I think with all that snow, I don't think the frost was a, as deep as everybody thought it was. Yeah, they were saying it was pretty deep in some places. Well, where they scrape the snow off the streets, they have to worry, I suppose, about how far it's going to sink down to the water lines. Oh well, that's. Uh, it wasn't the worst winter in the world. Of course, it's not quite over with yet. Uh, 4.58 will be the first, uh, will be the changeover to spring officially this afternoon, 4.58. And then tomorrow will be our first day of spring. But we know what spring can bring in, uh, in Minnesota. Three snowstorms in the month of April, even a snowstorm in May one time. So it's not over till it's over. Yep, that's for sure. Yeah, we had uh, we had what was it, 14 inches in April last year. I think it was around April 23rd or something like that. 
Anyway, have a good one, John. KC0, QED. All right, and we're caught up with that list there. Let's start another list here. Call KC0, WCG, and the third hour of the Pikonet. WD0BHYBZ. 10 0 DLR. Okay, it was uh, stumbled a little bit here, but I uh, got definitely DLR. And DHS, uh, I think there's a two there. Come back. Yep, the Whiskey Delta Zero Bravo Hotel Yankee. Whiskey Delta Zero Bravo Hotel Zulu. Okay, uh, go ahead with your comments. Well, John, it's good to meet you. I know I've heard you, your call quite a few years already. And we're up here in Aberdeen, Paul and Barb in Aberdeen, South Dakota, where we got 39 to bum, but boy, the sun is shining and the snow is melting, and we've got water sitting in the streets like crazy. But it isn't getting to the catch basins because they're all covered up with snow. We're about three or four feet away from the snow, from the curb, with snow in the street, so it's, it's going to take a while for that to melt out. Anyway, 7-3s, have a good nap, uh, John, and good to talk to you. WD-0, BHY, BH Center, clear from Aberdeen, South Dakota. Okay, coming in good today. Thank you. And uh, DLR, go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, John. Very good. Name Don here in Brooklyn Center. 46 degrees, my thermometer says. It was sunny earlier. Went over and got my uh, car tabs, and, and it was nice and sunny and stuff. But now it's one under the clouds, and, uh, but it's still nice and warm out there anyway. So we got, see we got a little wind, and that's kind of good. It dries up that uh, uh, water that's laying around, and we got, uh, I can see green grass in my backyard and my son's yard over there. It's not real green, it's, but you can see it coming through the brown stuff anyway. And we got piles of snow, but it's not very much. It's maybe maybe a foot at the most in some of the areas. I guess where it's got really piled up, there's more. But but I, in the backyard, I don't think there's, I don't think we got a foot even. So and there's a pond kind of or a, a place that gets a big puddle and out in the back in the back in, in the park. That's going away. So I don't know. I'm thinking maybe that I don't know the frost is out of the ground here or not yet. But I heard. Uh, uh, you're talking her, or to Terry there that didn't know if the frost got down. Well, it got down for me. It got down far enough that it froze my pipe. That <laughs> yeah, cleaned out last last year, so so it's down there somewhere. I'm not sure where. I'm kind of afraid to turn the water off because they said leave it running until uh, so we so otherwise it freeze back up again. So I got a little trickle coming, but. So I'm a little bit nervous about turning it off. Don't want to freeze it back up again. So back to you. This is at zero DLR. Yeah, what people don't realize, actually, with all the thawing going on, the frost is still going downward. And uh, this is the time of year when it will freeze in the ground and until uh, it really warms up. So, uh, yeah, there's areas that uh, probably the frost is still going downward. That's kind of what the plumber said. He, he said, uh, you know, you think just because it warms up, that's good enough. And that's kind of what happened to me. I had it running a little bit, and then it kind of warmed up when I shut it off. And, boy, the next morning, she froze up. But And he said, that, kind of like you, he said the frost keeps going down. Once that uh, uh, water kind of goes down and keeps freezing farther down. So I'm going to let it run. It'll be expensive, but it's better than having a plumber come back. Go ahead. Yeah, it is. And some of the cities in that where they have those problems of freeze up, they uh, all you got to do is let them know that you're r letting a small stream of water run, and they don't hit you so hard on the bill. Yeah, I may have to do that. Uh, we'll see. So anyway, the city should have known they it froze up. They come out to check it. They come out and pull the uh, meter off, and there wasn't no water there. And then they said it was froze up in the line. So. I had to get a plumber, and he'd come out. He had some kind of, I don't know what it was he put down there, but he, he did something. He had a machine that they run, and they must saw it out because he had to put a new valve on so he could get in there, but put a new valve on and then went in there with whatever kind of machine and saw it out. <laughs> anyway, that's the first time I've been here almost 50 years, and I've never had to do that before that I can remember anyway. Maybe I did, and I just don't remember it, but... Uh, uh, that was a first for me. Of course, I don't use that much water, and I used to. We used to use a lot of water, so that's probably a lot of it. Go ahead. 
Yeah, I don't use a whole lot of water. Uh, a single man alone don't use a lot. <laughs> if you got a wife, that subject changes. And if you got a wife and kids, they use a lot of water. Oh, yeah, I had eight kids, so we use a lot of water. And, and uh, up, well, about two years ago, I guess, I, uh, my wife went in the nursing home, and then she passed here well, about this time last year. And so I, I don't use that much water anymore. So I think that had something to do with it. And then I had... I got one of those, uh, what do they call, uh, well, recessed windows, and I, I think that runs near the water pipe, and uh, I think that that had something to do with it, too. Um, he, he, the plumber didn't think so. He said it was the street, but I think it was close enough to that window that that froze it, and then it went all the way. So, anyway, I'll let you get some more of them, John. Back to you. This is N-Zero DLR. All right. Thank you for stopping by. Now, on that last group, did I miss anybody?